Okay, we're all packed. So here's the pantry. We've loaded up with hand sanitizer, coffee, and some uh, extra cups for guests. It's a bag of chips, some popcorn, and some buns. Drop the keys. And we got a, this. We're not using as a fridge, but we just put a couple ice packs for like bread and cookies and things we want to just keep slightly cold. Uh, marshmallows, anything with chocolate kind of thing. It doesn't have to be super cold, but just a little bit. Throw little ice packs under there and half full water bottles with that were frozen with ice. Um, and then we have packed our three bins to go in here that have all the camping, the cooking stuff. And this has all of our sink stuff and our fresh water. Uh, some extra plates, drying rack. And then inside we're gonna put our clothes and we have a camp kitchen in here just to save some room inside. Clothes, TV, we'll go there. Um, just some extra room here. So just if you like things like blankets. I made these panels here for the door. It has kind of like a curtain. It reflects it on one side and just some uh, white plastic on the other. I just glued a handle on there so we can put out and then we'll store it at the top there. Uh, yeah, so in the Jeep, it's fully loaded. We have way more stuff than seems possible. So in the Jeep, we have the trailer ballet. I used to hook up the connection, a five pound for the barbecue, um, some camp chairs. We got a canopy, a couple of these black folding chairs from the entire a big tarp. Uh, we got the camping bucket with most of the stuff like hat, uh, hatchets and stuff. Coffee maker. Here's the attachment for the trailer ballet. So I left the cooler empty in here to pack around it. That's where the drinks will go with ice. And we got two, we got one 20 pounder in here. 120 pounder and then the uh, jacks for the thing. A uh, dirty water tank, two batteries in here for running the teardrop. Uh, once we hook up the batteries, we'll make sure the propane's not in there anymore. Uh, we got our camping stove, some chairs and tables uh, for guests. Uh, some of our camping gear uh, and extras. Uh, just a bin we exclusively use for camping gear, like ropes and all kinds of things. Uh, it's our Ryobi pack that has all the lights and batteries for the Ryobi gear. I've got a Ryobi inverter to run lots of stuff. And this is a spot I've held for my ARB fridge. The jack where he just sits there between us while we're driving and charges the fridge. And we got the pump, uh, fire pit. Yeah, fully loaded. There's the uh, Coleman stove and it's got a grill to go on top of it. So, we'll so this is running an ARB fridge. Fridge is powered up and cooling, and you see the input is charging from on the lighter. I have it on the non-power one. This one, this one over here runs when um, the engine's off, so I only want it to charge when the engine's running on purpose because I don't want to drain the battery. See, I'm sitting at 100%. Uh, when that fridge controller powers off, it'll go down to. Uh, uh, sorry, when the compressor powers off, it'll go down to like 2-3 watts. So it's cooling right now, but we're still maintaining 100%. I was gonna go over a couple little camping hacks here for tow dock trailers. Uh, so let's show you some. So first, here's the uh, lighter plug, and it shows the bolts on the battery and the temperature. And just plug that in, and you also know how your battery's doing. So when you actually have a load on it, it will show something lower. So make sure everything's off if you actually see, want to see like what your power is left on your battery. So 12.5 or more is kind of full, and 11.5 is pretty much empty. Um, okay, so next we got this little LED light strips. So these are USB, so most of the teardrops I've seen. can just plug in the USB here and they're magnetic. 
put in here above the sink if you need more lighting. You can move it over here and get some lighting on the side on your shock strap. Angle it around. Or anywhere you can clip it down here. Over here. Wherever you want to get a bit of light. And obviously you can get a USB extender cable if you want to make it further. So I only have this one light, but a lot of, a lot of the uh, teardrops I've seen have some lights up there, so it's a little bit better. But if you don't have enough light, this one's a pretty easy little hack. Very cheap. Next we have these little magnetic hooks. And you can put these pretty much anywhere. They're really hard to get off. But there you go. So a couple of these, you can put them wherever you want. And get some garbage and recyclables. On the side, right? They're uh, super handy. I have a whole bunch of those and S hooks. I use S hooks all the time. So here's the camp stove, camp kitchen. Uh, so we're thinking of upgrading this. Uh, our burner is like super old, so dirty, and uh, I don't really want to clean it anymore and deal with it. So I just got one of these. Or I also have this grill down here. If I want to make eggs and bacon or something in the morning or even toast, I can use these two. Um, but if I want to make a full barbecue, I can just throw this whole grill over from Costco that's like $30 and put it on top. I'm thinking about bringing to Camp Chef, which is a two burner uh, solution, but it's a 20 pound tank, whereas this one just uses a one pound spike. And this Coleman here goes on the stove too, but it takes up the whole burner, so it's kind of a pain that way. So we're gonna have to upgrade that. We have the light speed, uh, this is just a privacy tent for changing. Um, we can also use it for a bathroom or a shower if we're really off the grid somewhere. So, I'll show you that side. So, one thing we always do is with any camping chair, and now with this tent too, we just leave one of these little ottomans in there and we can throw your clothes on there. You can sit down and change your shoes, whatever. We just throw it in the bag. That's good. So, this goes up in like five seconds and down in like five seconds like I'm exaggerating but it's super fast because you just like have to squeeze the top where it just pops in. so super fast which means we'll actually use it instead of just leaving it at home inside of this here drop put my phone here to charge and then uh, through flashlights and a remote for the TV up there wires when we're charging our watches at night um, from the USBs to USBs there and then we got shelving I got a cupboard there we're thinking of changing the hinges to open sideways so we can get behind the TV uh, here's the uh, doors I made just slide in just sort of flex it on one side just pressure fit it right in there. That's it. There's the ARB fridge. It's been going for quite a while. This is running off the of Jackery because I don't really have a good um, fridge in the actual trailer. You can see it's at, it says minus two, but it really is a couple degrees off. It's not freezing or anything like that. I'll show you the Jackery in a second. Here's another thing. Uh, the trailer valet. So this helps us to get the teardrop onto the, the ball joint. Uh, we're telling. Um, it's too heavy to carry or lift. Uh, not neat, but um, that weight on that tongue is really hard to maneuver, especially like on our driveway has a hill. So we can connect this. We have this connection we put on. So it just clips on there and then I can uh, use the wheel and I can also uh, turn the handle and it moves and steers and I can just drop it right on there. And I still have the, the spot for the jack on the other side so I can still use the jack. But right now we're just leaving it attached since we don't really need to take it off. It's pretty level. And we don't need to move the Jeep right now so we're good. The solar panel charging right now just takes some sand. We're just got the compressor on and Off. Like two or three watts. 
saw it running through the window. I just it right outside. Thanks for watching. I hope you found some ideas to take on your next camping trip. Uh, we had a great time on ours. Uh, give us a thumbs up and have a good day.